I think there are a number of reasons for it. Um, and I would, I would point to the, our personnel, firstly, you know, this is about human beings uh, out there competing. Um, so the players have done an outstanding job for us over the last few years, uh, always putting us in a position to compete for the title. Um, so that, that is one thing, you know, Sean started uh, the captaincy of Multan, um, or certainly when I started, with Multan, um, he was the captain and did an outstanding job. And then Rizwan has taken over and, and also been outstanding as a leader. Um, so that's a good start point. But even before that, before you get to the players, um, it, and I, I, I hope they don't mind me saying, but um, you know, the leadership of Alamgir and Ali Tareen initially, and now Alamgir Tareen, um, I've, I've really appreciated. Um, you know, their direction, their, their passion for uh, the Multan franchise and for Pakistan cricket. Um, and, uh, and their passion, you know, driving us forward to do well. That's always really motivating for me and everyone else around Multan. We've also had a really good sort of leadership team, Haider um, as our chief executive, and, uh, and the brains, he'd love me saying uh, the brains behind the operation, wouldn't he? Um, he's, he's brilliant to work with. I really enjoy working with him. And he knows the game and he's really well organized and he's a smart guy. Uh, and, he, and, and vaguely humorous occasionally too. Um, and, and then we've got a really good solid coaching staff um, and with good local knowledge. So Mushtaq Ahmed uh, and Abdurrahman particularly have been brilliant to have by my side and giving their, their input and direction. And, and Tala is, uh, is an outstanding analyst with really good intimate knowledge of not only Pakistani players, but a lot of international cricketers and Pakistan conditions. Yeah, the... The draft is a hugely important part of the whole franchise process. And, uh, and, and usually, you know, we've been quite happy after our drafts. And um, I, would, I would say on this occasion, um, that's, we're no different. We're happy with the way the draft went. We think we've got a really good squad together. And when I, when I say that, I mean that the squad that we've put together gives us various options of how to balance our team. And the, the coach and the captain, are, are, they're always trying to balance their team, try to get a stronger bowling lineup with as many variations as possible, but also a fairly, a fairly lengthy batting order. Um, we at Multan um, over the years probably haven't had the longest batting order, uh, the, the longest and strongest batting order, but we've always made the most of our top six. I think that is fair to say. And I think this coming year, it won't be any different, you know. Some sides, you know, if I think of the Islamabad side, for instance, they bat really deep. Um, we tend to have really high quality in our, in our top six and then um, a really uh, diverse uh, and, uh, and hopefully intelligent bowling attack. Um, so we're happy with the way the draft went and, and the replacement draft that's just happened. Uh, you know, getting the quality of someone like Pollard in that uh, replacement draft is really important. An all-rounder in Parnell, uh, Ahmed Butt is another Pakistani all-rounder that we can add to uh, Anwar Ali and Sarwar. Um, and, uh, and we also got uh, Israel Huck, the leg spinner from Afghanistan, who's just been playing the Big Bash, uh, because we want we needed a an, an, another wrist spinner um, as a uh, wrist spinner option. We have. I'm I'm really looking forward to working with Osama Mir. Um, I know that Mushtaq Ahmed, our spin bowling coach, our assistant coach, really rates him highly, and so I'm really looking forward to what he can do for us this season. Um, and, and in saying that, I think as everyone knows, if you've got good local players, that gives you the best chance of doing well in the tournament. It is not all about the overseas players at all. 
Um, it's about good, having good, strong, talented local players. Um, to have Tim David coming back for us towards the end of the tournament will be a really important little fillip for us. Um, and it's great to have um, Riley Rousseau back with his left-handedness and his power. Uh, and also David Miller. He is, uh, he won't be available for the whole tournament, but certainly um, the, all the group games. So that's really exciting for us to have him. Uh, I've never worked closely with David before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, in addition, Josh Little is a very, very exciting left arm pace swing bowler. He did brilliantly in the recent T20 World Cup in Australia. Um, so we're really happy to have him on board. I've been really impressed with him from the moment he stepped into the inter international scene, actually. Sean and Rizwan should not go without mention at the top of the order. Um, they're a great combination and, and good, strong Pakistani men that, um, that help us as a team to stay strong. And, um, and Shanawaz Dani, who is super exciting, always and great fun to be around. I'm looking forward to him getting back into some form. Uh, and I'm very, very excited to see Isanullah uh, do his thing. Um, we saw him as an emerging talent player last year. We used him briefly. I know that he's had some very good domestic performances in the, in the interim. What makes a good T20 side? In, in my opinion, balance is important. So. Mostly you need power, you need, some, you need batting power, um, but there are, there are still, the game is still there open to um, those players that are particularly skillful and intelligent because they can still thrive in this environment. So there is not only one way to skin a cat batting wise in T20 cricket, um, and if you're skillful enough and you're smart enough, you can definitely thrive uh, um, in, in the top order in top quality T20 cricket. But getting that balance right, um, getting right and left handers to operate together, um, uh, having good players of spin because spin is so important in T20 cricket these days. So having people that can hit spin is important. Um, and, um, and, and then getting your specialist bowling areas right. Just like right-handed and left-handed batsmen are important to offer problems for the opposition captain in the field, it's really important, I think, to, uh, to have an attack that offers a variety of different challenges for the batsmen because that allows the... Um, that allows the captain then to call on different skills um, on the basis of what might challenge particular batsmen in the middle. Um, I suppose people call that matchups these days. But um, so I think that sort of uh, variety in your team stands you in really good stead. Each league does have its nuances and its differences. Um, I, I genuinely have enjoyed my time in the Pakistan Super League. It's been really exciting um, to see the talent that's, a, that's available. Uh, I think um, what stands out is um, the fast bowling and the wristband bowling. That's what really stands out for me in the Pakistan Super League. Um, every side has pace. And usually every side has a wrist spin. Um, some of the batting quality um, is, is obviously top notch, uh, but, but, but I think the particular area that stands out is fast bowling and wrist spin. Um, I do really like the fact that uh, the Pakistani cricketing public have really bought in to uh, the various franchises and really, really associate themselves uh, with each individual franchise and therefore pro provide the atmosphere that's so important, uh, not only for the players to express their talent 
um, in front of, but also for the cameras to, to see and pass on that, that feeling of excitement to the viewers on TV. Uh, we all want to think positively about, uh, uh, certainly from our perspective, Multan's um, results. Uh, but I, I must say that it's, it is important to understand, certainly in our dressing room, that to a large extent, you can't control results. You can control things like your attitude when you turn up to training or your attitude when you turn up to compete in the match. Those are the things that are more, more under your control. And those are the things that we try to encourage our players and staff to focus on. Um, if you do that well, your, the, the result is that your, you have a higher chance of doing well in the tournament um, results as well. So that's how we try to look at it. Um, but um, I, I wouldn't want to dampen any of our supporters' hopes and dreams. And, you know, we're really looking forward to performing in front of the Multan fans uh, for five of our games this year. Uh, we played there before. The atmosphere was sensational. It's a great ground. It's a good pitch. And, uh, you know, we, we hope that we can make the use of our home conditions and our home knowledge 